Hi guys, it's April here, and in today's tutorial, I'll show you guys how to make that crazy looking Adobe build up effect. The only plugins you will have to have for this tutorial is the soft plugins, but please consider to drop a like and a sub. But other than that, let's get right into the tutorial. The first step to make that amazing build up effect is to time map. How we're gonna time map the clip is uh, find shot of impact on the clip. That's the first one we see a little bit of the numbers appear. So uh, here's the first one we see a little bit of the numbers. Press M on your keyboard, that will down mark right there. What we're gonna do now is press on the clip, press Ctrl R, then you're gonna right click on the same clip and go to read on curve. When you're in read on curve, you're gonna zoom in until you see this, this arrow in the corner. Press on that arrow and make so sure that the only thing that's checked is the read time speed. When you have done that, you should only have a line. What you're gonna do now is you will take your cursor again to the markers, so on the shot of impact. And right here, you're gonna press on the R right here, press add speed point. From here, you're gonna go 30 frames to the left. So 30, right here, press on the R, press add speed point. Then you go about in the middle and press and R and add speed point. But what you usually do is you press on the arrow and change speed, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna play around with this line. So if you press on this line down below, you should see three dots appear. What you're gonna do is this first like space in between these two first dots, you're gonna drag down to 45%, and this other space right here, you're gonna drag up to 240, just looks good. You can play around with that yourself, and it should look something like this. It looks absolutely fire, but it's not synced at all, and we haven't added any slow move yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just go anywhere to the right, press on the arrow up here, press add speed point, then you're gonna drag this line we just created to 50%, and it should look something like this. Now we basically have time mapped the clip, and now we're gonna sync the clip up with the music. How we're gonna do that is we can zoom out, close out of the reader speed, and press on this, Similar to it. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna again find the first one we see the numbers appear, so it's just for impact. So for me, it's right there, and the old mark we created, we're just gonna drag it and make it so it is on the new shot of impact. But now, when we have the marker, we're gonna go over to the music and find the beat you want to give to happen on. So for me, it's right here, I over the marker it. So basically, just press on the music and press M on your keyboard on the beat. Then you turn on this magnet tool. And should be really easy if we do just slip it in so these two markers are in a straight line. What we're gonna do now is go to shot of impact, so where the markers are, press Ctrl V, that was split it right there, and from here we're gonna press on the clip before the kill, so right here, press Ctrl R so we can see where the slow mo begins. So we take our cursor to the slow mo, it's the slow mo starts on the first speed point, and from the speed point we're gonna go five frames to the right. So one, two, three, four. Right, right here, press Ctrl B again, that will split it, and we can close out of the read on controls now. So we, we should have a little clip in the middle, like that. And what we're gonna do now is you're gonna go to open effects, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna search up S underscore Twitter. It should pop up. Basically, you just drag and drop it on this clip, and it should become black and white. But we're gonna make so this black and white fades in. How we're gonna do that is press on the clip, go to effects in the inspector. And inside of here you should see mix with source. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna go with your arrow keys to the first one we see that is black and white, so right here. Keyframe the mix with source at 100. Then you're gonna go five frames to the right with your arrow keys. One, two, three, four, five. And keyframe it again and right all the way to zero. And it will slowly fade in. What we're gonna do now is the clip we just created in the middle. Hold Alt and drag it up a layer that will basically create a copy above. And if you go to inspect again in the effect tab, you need to make the color one to the color you want another be effect to be. So I want it to be red. Then you're gonna go to color one at bright and basically just pull around with this. If you want it to be darker, just drag it to the right. If you want it to be brighter, drag it to the left. But I'm gonna drag it to the right, so something like this. And now we basically just have your cursor over this clip and press on it and go to the color tab. Instead of here, you should press on the circle with like four dots on it 
inside the fear, just press on the circle thingy. For me it's an oval, I don't know why, but for you it should be a circle. What you can do now is this red cursor you see on the timeline down here, drag it all the way to the left so you can't see any effect at all. What you're gonna do now is you're basically gonna take the circle and drag it on the character, but make it much smaller than the character. I don't know how to describe it, but something like this, you see how I do it. It's, it barely touches the edges of the shirt. And what you're gonna do now is down here you should see softness, basically make the soften to 7. We'll play around with that soften a bit later. But what you're gonna do now is go to nodes, you see up here. If you can't see them, just press on nodes up here. Right again, we press add alpha, connect it. And if you take our cursor forward, you will see that, it, that we can see a bit red. But in my opinion, it's a bit too little red, so we basically just drag up the softness. You can play around how much ever you want. But we'll make some keyframing with this now. How we're gonna do that is take the cursor again as much as you can to the left. Keyframe the correct one, makes the fast frame so it is like this on the character. Then you're basically just gonna follow along the character, change some of the rotation or some. Basically just make sure that the circle is on the character all the time. So basically just go frame by frame with your keyboard. And yeah, that looks, in my opinion, absolutely fire. We can watch it through once more, so something like this. That looks absolutely sick, in my opinion. You can even change the color now if you want, maybe to be yellow, but I'll keep it at red. But when you've done everything, make sure that you have done all the keyframing and made all the colors you find the color you want. What you're gonna do now is right click on the clip and press no new compound clip. Press create. Basically, nothing will change, but what you're gonna do now is press and go to the color tab, go to nodes again if you can't see, just press the nodes up here. Press on this and hold Alt plus Y, so it should pop up a lot of nodes like this. And basically what you're gonna do now is press on the O3 up here and go to the like square with arrows around it, press on it. And you should see this pop up. What you're gonna do, you're basically just gonna take the pan and drag it a bit, something like this. Whatever, whichever side you want, you can drag it to the right or to the left, but I'll probably take it to the right. I think this looks pretty cool. But as you see guys, now it's just drastically becomes this weird, but we're gonna fix that. Go about one fifth into the clip we just created. And if you have a cursor over the clip, you should see like in the corners a rectangle thing. Basically, just take the one to the left and drag it so it ends on your cursor. In my opinion, that looks so sick. And yeah, that's basically the whole effect. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please consider dropping a like and a sub. And yeah, bye guys. See you guys in the next video.